Hello, Internet. Welcome to Vertiginous Golf on Instant Replay Live. We're going to get a little two-player versus action going here. Shopping in a Bioshock boutique. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I adjust this again, apparently? Oh, oh. oh that's wrong. True players. Oh, God. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Always nice. good to start things that way. I, I don't understand, like... So we don't want to do story because... You can't do story with two players. Okay. That, that's why. <laughs> I guess we should do the tutorial as two-player? Uh, okay, why not? All right. Learn to play. Because there are, there are some features that I think it would be too difficult for me to explain otherwise. So I think this entire game takes place in a virtual reality. I don't think this chair actually teleports us, but we sort of pick our, our programming here and then climb aboard this chair. And it flashes out to see us shaking and shimmying, and, uh... So we're taking the blue pill? We're taking the blue pill, yeah. Living we're with preferring some... a world of vertiginous golf. Well, I would pretty happily live in this world. <laughs> I don't know about you, I mean... If I, if, I, if, if, if the only thing required was that I played putt-putt all day to live in a city in the clouds? <sighs> see, that's the thing, right? Like, putt-putt would get old so fast. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... It's a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty non-sport. Right, so I'm gonna be pink ball. Man. Are we are we good with that, or do you want to be picked? Yeah, uh, actually, actually, let me, let me go ahead and see these controls. Yeah, go for I it. Really... Why don't you take over from here? All right, I'll be the, I'll be the, the pink ball. Yeah. Then. The weird thing we found out in a, a test recording with this is that you can control the ball, or the the putter, for either player, um, with either controller, which is really weird and really obnoxious. I mm -hmm. think. Uh, go ahead and keep going, Joe. Oh, no, okay, now it's me. All right, so it doesn't matter which ball we always have to pay attention, so I'll be green from here on out. You want to go halfway up. Oh, man. It doesn't even matter because there's a treadmill there. It's all tutorial. Treadmill. I'll end up in about the same place. I've played the, tre the, the treadmill. <laughs> I've played the treadmill once before. Uh, how was that? <laughs> I used to play the treadmill in high school band. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, never quite on the level of, uh, of how... Okay, go. Yeah, uh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> the masters of treadmill. Yeah, they play the treadmill like professionals, uh, because they are. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, you got stuck. Oh no. Uh, oh, so now you can rewind. Okay. Um, so that is a feature because this is a game about a virtual reality world. Notice that rewinding uses your power. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. Um, okay. I need to go again. Um. But I was trying to say, I played the tutorial in single player, and this is apparently the oh, yeah. same tutorial. I was wondering if it would be different for multiplayer, but it is not. So. Hmm. I've seen this stuff already. Nice. Um, a very relaxing sky course. Mm hmm. How come we don't have this in real life? <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder why we don't have flying islands um, that you play golf on. Yeah, that's what I just said. All right. Did you read that sign? I was trying to get you to read it before, but you were you were not no. looking at the screen. Look at um, the screen. We don't do that in this. Right. Yeah. Uh, it allows you to use your your little hummingbird to look around. So I'll go ahead and do oh. that now. So I can be like, oh, I wonder if the best option is uh, okay. to go this way. And it turns out it is. And then you hit Y again to undo that, and you go this way. Oh, was I? Dang it! I was using Thanks. your ball. Well, I got you pretty close. Uh, uh, you want me to rewind it? No. I could rewind. No, I can't actually. Because it's my power, not yours. Well, no. It's because yeah, it had already turned the turn over to me. I'm gonna rewind that though. <laughs> uh, why can't I? Because it's my turn. Press B to return to shot. But I did it before you turned over. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Two-player, I think, works a little clumsily in this game. I don't think they intended it for a multiplayer game, which is sad. Because uh, uh, oh, it's a golf game. Damn. How... If I don't win the tutorial, then what do you Oh my am god, I? I'm terrible. I gotta win this tutorial. Luckily, the tutorial has no par, so... So all of our failures don't seem as bad, maybe? Now I am the Sky Golf Champion. So we got we got a lot of stuff to talk about during this series. Mm -hmm. um, not the least of which is Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. Also chickens. 
Oh yeah, that uh, too. Which we are now the proud owners of. Mm-hmm. Um, the total annihilation of the uh, the population of Earth by aliens. That That's, recently happened. That did happen. I don't think most people will remember it though. Yeah. Because the mind wipe ray worked pretty well. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I, I think it worked out well. All right, so their tutorial course is done. Um, we are going to move on to a full course now. Mini butt one. And getting our seat again. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep, that happened. So what can we say about Mad Max that doesn't reveal spoilers, but convinces everyone listening to this to immediately drop what they're doing, including our show? Sorry, it's not a, it's not that good. <laughs> if I were to do my, my like elevator pitch of like uh, your semi semi review form, would be like that movie is um, one of the most visually spectacular movies you've ever seen, and yet the thing that I want to talk about it is the story. Is the story yeah. like and that's that's such a ridiculous thing. Because they brought out so much story in characters that you just never would have expected to have a story. I was actually watching an uh, interview with George Miller this morning, the director, um, and he said they're going to be doing um, some comic books uh, oh, cool. for backstories of the uh, of many of the characters, Sweet. Um, including um, the war boy who in the trailer says, Oh, what a lovely day! <laughs> that, guy, that guy's getting a backstory. Um they also talked about a possibility of doing all of the brides getting a backstory, um, <laughs> and uh, and the big baddie getting his own backstory as well, um, from his like fall from military power to evil warlord. Nice. Like, he was a, you know, maybe not good military man, but he was a military man. Yeah. And so those are those are potential stories that might come out. Mm. Um. But uh, I'm looking forward to that big time. It, it's just I cannot think of another movie that did what it did so well, which is right. show a character on screen for two seconds and in that two seconds you you start imagining your own backstory for that character because you can tell he feels real. Um, there's so many I want to talk about. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. it, you, you totally hit that perfect. Yeah, yeah. nailed it. You, you you were aiming for the sky, right? Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, did you hit B? No, but I guess it made me reshoot since I went off the map. Oh, okay. Well, I did it for you. Thanks. You're welcome. Maybe this we game. should check what color the ball we have is. Game, yeah, says you. Um, oh, is that going to knock me into a good me. place? Yeah, oh, it just You've hit my ball twice now. Just missed my ball. Um. Yeah, but I've also had to remind you that it's your turn several times. All yeah, right. I suppose so. I'm just gonna uh, but yeah, Mad Max is a thing that I that I want more movies to do, and I think I mean in particular movies with bad guys. But ah, oh, I was so close. Mad Max makes bad guys that that have intricate um, a sense of a sense of wholeness to them. They're not just yeah. They're not just evil for evil's sake. Yeah, and like they were so many. They were believable too. Yeah, like they got to their aggressive tendencies through totally legit means. Not we're the bad guys, so we can do whatever because we're the bad guys. Like. Everything they did felt organic and natural to their character. Mm -hmm. Amazing storytelling, amazing world building. I think if we say any more, we're gonna we're gonna dive into spoiler territory. But oh, oh yes, um, <laughs> go watch it. All right, you're up. But um, as you mentioned, other than Mad Max, there's some chickens. Whoa, slow down to your camera, dude. You're gonna make the audience sick. That's, that's my goal. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, we got some chickens yesterday, and uh, we, we've been building up towards this for a while. It wasn't a spontaneous decision. Um, Rachel and I have, uh, hmm, what's the goal here? Try to get on that side of it. Uh, oh, pop. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad, but I, I could have done better. Um, we had been planning for a while. We did a lot of research. We actually um, talked to her family about it, and her dad built us a coop for a Christmas present that... You know that the, the announcement of the building was the Christmas present, and it um, got completed a couple of weeks ago. So we were finally able to pick that up, and then once we got that, we uh, got all the other supplies we would need, and went yesterday and got the actual chickens. And you're in there. <laughs> um, we have three chickens, and ah, uh, <laughs> dude, it's so hard to talk in game at the same time. Why did we agree to do this show? What, what are we doing? I don't know. I'm With doing pretty lives? well. I'm enjoying it. Oh, good for you. Even when you hit my ball. 
How many shots have I? I'm up to five now on this par two. You gotta tap it in. Just tap, yeah. tap, tap it in. Um. But yeah, it's uh, it's fun. They're they're all six weeks old, so they are too young to um to give us eggs yet. But over the next few months, we'll start seeing eggs and having fresh eggs every morning. Pretty exciting. This is an interesting one. Mm -hmm. and this is probably going to be our last one before the episode ends, so nail it. Oh, well, I did. <laughs> I did nail it. Actually. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, we'll see how this okay, goes. Still me. It's still you. me. Yeah, after you pop off, it gives it to you again, which is weird. I don't know why. I don't think that's the rules of golf. Oh, not bad. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, Ooh, man. Hey, is that, hey, is that dog. Is that pretty good? Okay, I'm pretty okay with that, actually. Relax. I don't know why she's barking. She hungry for chicken. Yeah. Our dog definitely wants to eat the chicken. That is a for sure thing. Oh, I didn't mute the alarm. Nice. Sorry, Internet. I'm sorry. Well, I suppose we'll see if I can make it up this hill next yeah, time. Well, no, I'll finish this course. Don't do that. Why would we cut in the middle of a course? That's terrible. Well, uh, You're terrible. No one's gonna remember what it is next time. Oh, I made it up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't need to hit an exact minute mark. Alright, see? I just wanted to do that before you. <laughs> and have everyone see that. No. Alright. Go ahead and miss. Enter the that zone. Would be the best I gotta, I gotta think. Me. I gotta channel my inner Happy Gilmore. Got a lot of catching up to do. That would probably be the only other thing I associate golf with. Yeah. Tiger Woods and Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Those two golfers that I know. All right. Now it's time. Go ahead and say it, Joe. Um. So welcome to Instant Replay Live. Nope, you fail. That, that's not the one. <laughs> All right. Next time on Instant Replay Live. <laughs>